Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today, everybody, you are in my kitchen. Yes, this is my kitchen. Pardon the cream walls, it's very disgusting. But today, everybody, we are going to be cooking. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the, the Juno Show. One and a welcome to the Juno Show. And a welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, we have arrived and I am in my kitchen. Yes, I know. It is a disgusting landlord cream wall, however we dare they. We are going to be cooking today. Now, when I say cooking, we're starting off with a starter. Yes, one of my favourite starters in the world. We're going to be making a prawn cocktail. So, I know it's not technically cooking, but um, it is a great start to start with something. And it is something that has been on my mind for a while. <laughs> this is going to be gorgeous. Okay, so we need chopping boards. Because there's a lot of chopping going on in this recipe. Yes, it's happening. So, we're gonna, I'm going to go and wash my hands to begin with. Because you must always wash your hands. Make sure that you use lots of soap as well. Because we don't want to have any germs. Like that. Okay, hands are washed, everybody. Um, and now we need to start. We're going to get the ingredients out now. Right. So we need lettuce and we need chives. I have some ingredients. Yes, it's happening. So we're going to start with the lettuce. Goodness gracious me. Well, now we need to recycle our plastics, everybody, because the planet is burning. Not Humans not looking after their planet, however we die there. Right, okay, so, we're gonna peel off the disgustingness of the lettuce, so that can go over there. Right, so, so. Oh my God, there's bugs! There's bugs that just came out of the lettuce! So, we have a washed lettuce, everybody. Yes, it's happening. And we are going to chop it. So we need a big knife like this, but you need to be very careful that you don't cut yourself. And we're just gonna start chopping the lettuce, like so. I'm gonna use a whole lettuce because I am a greedy bastard. We're chopping away, everybody. Chopping, chopping, chopping. And this is how you chop professionally. Now, the prawn cocktail, everybody, is a very old dish. <coughs> um, so the prawn cocktail, everybody, um, is a very old dish. Now, you might be wondering, why did they serve it in a glass? And the reason they served it in a glass, or the idea of it being in a glass showed up, is because in the 1930s, when or 1920s, sorry, when prohibition was happening and you couldn't have alcohol. They started serving food in cocktail glasses, which I think is very fabulous and very gorgeous. So, I'm going to sprinkle some lettuce into the prawn cocktail. The lettuce is going to be the base of the prawn cocktail. Clearing up the excess lettuce, because we're going to save that for later, everybody. So, instead of cleaning this, we're going to turn it over, everybody, like that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Avocado, avocado, yes, it's happening. Oh my goodness me, yes, yes, gorgeous. Now, I know avocado is not a traditional thing to put into a prawn cocktail, but I like to put a bit of guacamole in my prawn cocktail. Yes, it's happening. So, to cut the avocado, we need to go all the way around carefully that you don't chop your fingers off, people. Right, so the avocado is split, everybody. So, what we do now is we hack into the pip and pull it out like so. So what we do next is we're peeling off the, the, the... Ah! Ah! Right, we're peeling off the skin, everybody. Yes, it's happening. Look how mucky we're getting, everybody. Oh my goodness, me. Cyril! Cyril! Excuse me! 
Mummy is cooking and this is an avocado and you cannot eat it. Anyway, we're cutting off all the horrible bits of the avocado. I don't want to waste not want not, but we're going to be mashing it into guacamole anyway. It is important to keep washing your hands. Our avocado is going in the bowl like this and we're just going to get some lemons. So we are now chopping a lemon. Oh, we're just going to squeeze the lemon juice into the avocado like so. Yes, it's happening. We're also, wait, I can't open this. Putting a tiny little bit of paprika into the avocado like so. Only a little tiniest little bit. Um, and then we're going to start mashing this, everybody. Okay, that's, just don't use a spoon to mash avocado, it's stupid, but right? use a fork like a sensible person. And we're just gonna mash this together, everybody. Oh my God, okay, so the paprika has made it look absolutely disgusting, as you can see, can you see? Horrible. Okay, so the avocado, everybody. <laughs> sake, Cyril. Are you done? Our guacamole is finito and we're gonna part, start spooning this into the base of our prawn cocktail. Yes, it's happening. Plonk that in a little bit, just so it's got something there. Right, so lettuce, avocado, absolutely gorgeous. Next, we're going to be chopping a gorgeous and stunning cucumber. Yes, it's happening. We're going to use this in our prawn cocktail because it's very stunning and it makes everything look so much better. Okay, so right, well let's let's put them in and see how much we need. We want it to be beautiful and cucumber makes prawn cocktails look absolutely stunning. I think if Gordon Ramsay could see this, he'd be foaming at the mouth. Gorgeous, everybody. Look how stunning this is looking already. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious me. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in the base of the prawn cocktail, like so. Absolutely gorgeous. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking the remaining lettuce and I'm just gonna sprinkle more of this on top, like so. Right, we've got our lettuce in. Now, it is time for the main event, everybody. The prawns. So, we have arrived with our prawns, everybody. Now, vegans, vegetarians, I'm sorry. We've got some lovely prawns here, everybody. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, these are washed and clean prawns. Yes, that's happening. And we also have some big prawns as well because we'll mix the small ones in with the sauce. Now, next, the sauce. So for the sauce, everybody, move. Keep your station clean. Cheers. Also, if you're wondering where this mug is from, it's from dragqueenmerch.com. Yes, that's happening. The traditional way of making Mary Rose sauce, in my brain, is ketchup and mayonnaise. Yes, that's happening. So we're gonna shake the condiments. And we're gonna start with mayonnaise, everybody. I'd say add a quarter of ketchup to the amount of mayonnaise that you've used. Oh, gorgeous and stunning pink color. Now this is a salmon pink, everybody. If I could have my way, this is what colour my walls would be in my bathroom. The sauce is ready. No, it's not. Because we're going to be putting paprika in. In my experience with paprika, if you don't heat paprika or cook paprika, it doesn't really give off much as a, much of a flavour but um, it does look absolutely gorgeous in the sauce. So we're gonna start adding our washed prawns, everybody. Um, well, little bit by little bit. No, actually, I'm just gonna dump them in. And we're going to stir in the prawns, can you say? For those people who hate seafood or who hate um, little prawns being mixed into a sauce, I don't care. Now, fun fact, everybody, when I was a child, I did not like birthday cake and I never ate my birthday cake because I didn't like sweet food. So one birthday, I think I was about eight years old, 
my mum made me a prawn cocktail instead of a birthday cake and put candles in it. And all the little kids at my birthday party were going, ew, because of the smell of the prawn cocktail. But what they didn't know is that this eight-year-old had a very fine and sophisticated palate. Right, we're going to spoon in the prawn cocktail. Be careful that you don't get this onto the sides of the glass because, oh, it's too late now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna clean up the glass a little bit. There is the prawns into the glass. Absolutely gorgeous! Oh, <laughs> cut the cucumber about this length, can you say? And then we're gonna half it. Half it again, half it again, and half it again. Cutting out the middle a little bit because we want the green, we want the dark green colour for decoration. This is more of a 70s co uh, prawn cocktail, everybody. It was all the rage in the 70s. Everybody's dinner party menu had a prawn cocktail at the beginning. Cucumber legs. What we're gonna do next, everybody, is we're layering the cucumber around the edges like so, sticking it in like this. I don't like that one. Oh my God! I forgot one of the main ingredients. Okay, right, wait there everybody, I'm washing my hands. So, one of the things that I like to put in a prawn cocktail is grapes, everybody. Grapes, yes, grapes. They are from a tree. We are going to be putting grapes in our prawn cocktail. Now, when I was little, I tried many types of prawn cocktails, yes I did, um, because I was a prawn cocktail fan. But one of the prawn cocktails that I tried had grapes in it, and I thought that was disgusting and horrible. But when I tried it, it was absolutely gorgeous. So, we're chopping grapes up like so. I'm using black grapes because they're very strong flavour. Now that our cucumber's in, We've got our cucumber sticks in. We're gonna start sprinkling around a few little grapes for sweetness. And it really complements the prawn taste. And it actually makes the prawns taste like lobster. And we love a good lobster, don't we, everybody? But what we're gonna be doing next, everybody, is we're taking large prawns. Now, my preference to prawns was going to be the big tails that hang over the edge of the glass, just like in Beetlejuice. <laughs> But we've only got smaller ones today that are out of a packet. And I did not cook these. No, I did not. And we're going to hang the prawns over the sides of the glass. So the prawns are deciding they do not want to behave. They can't help themselves. Look at them, they're trying to die. Oh my God! The prawns are supposed to hang on the edge of the glass, but they just keep jumping in. Gorgeous and stunning. Look at this, everybody. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is a work of art. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, doesn't it look good, Billy? Very proud of myself here. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious me. Right, you're not going in, you're naughty. Um, okay, so, wait, this one's fallen over. Now I'm picking the prawns that are specifically being very good around the rim of the glass. Lemon juice, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, oh my goodness gracious me. Lemon juice is very important in a prawn cocktail, people. Yes, it's happening. Um, anyway, right, we're going to add some chives. Now, chives are such a decadent and gorgeous herb. Yeah, onion. A, They're part um, of the onion family, I would say. I'd say it's an oniony herb. Oniony herb, chive. Yes, that's happening. I'm going to sprinkle a bit more lettuce in, everybody, just to make the prawn cocktails look fuller, so pe people look like they're getting their money's worth. Now, we're going to be chopping some chives, everybody, because chives add so much flavour. Um, and with the lemon and the Mary Rose sauce, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, my God. Sprinkling that on. Very, very proud of myself, I am. This is quite a quick recipe, everybody. It's very easy to do. Um, for vegans and vegetarians, I don't know the substitute for prawn cocktail, but I can imagine a very gorgeous sesame seed marinated tofu 
cocktail would be absolutely gorgeous. Um, I want to get all the mess out of the way so we can appreciate the absolutely gorgeousness of my talents. Oh my God, I just stood on a grape. Okay, I'm just gonna clean the surfaces. I don't know why I'm holding this knife. I think I feel threatened. Philly Willy is just helping me clean, aren't you? Yes, making it nice and tidy. Making it nice and gorgeous. Oh, uh, right. Let me just put them back in the fridge. Before we're finished, I'm just gonna do a tiny little smidge of a paprika all along the top, like so. Um, and the last touch that I'm going to do, I'm going to take a lemon, a new fresh lemon, of course, and chopping it in half, and then we're gonna have a nice big thick slice that and then it's gonna go on the side like so. Oh my god, people! The prawn cocktails are finished. Look at that, everybody. I am a proud woman. Oh my goodness, May. That's a bit of a big starter, isn't it? Okay. Abs oh, I just stood on the grape again! We have finished our prawn cocktails that I made from scratch. Yes, I made it from scratch. And it's absolutely gorgeous, look at this. Now this is a very easy meal to do. Um, next time I'll probably do something a bit more extravagant and precious and gorgeous that takes a bit more preparation. But for my first cooking video, I wanted it to be very gorgeous. Now, we have to do a taste test now. And as you know, I can't eat human food because I'm not from this planet. But we've got Philly Willy in here, who is going to try our prawn cocktail. Come on in, Philly Willy. Right, I hate this part. I shows. hate this part. I as hate well. this part cooking shows because they always munch and they're all in Master Chef when they yam and stuff. Anyway, try it. Let me get a good, good amount. This is verging on ASMR on the screen. <laughs> I'm trying to get a grape on the end. I want to try with a grape on the end. Grape. Oh, there we yes, go. there you go. Very nice. It's very nice, very everybody. Nice. It's very nice. Oh, there we go. I approve of the prong cocktail. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious me. Wonderful. Right. Well, you heard it yourself there. Juno Birch is the chef. And yes, I am a very talented one. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will, I, I, if you enjoyed it, I will do more cooking videos. I was thinking next time something along the lines of a cucumber jelly tuna tower or something like that. Or maybe even watermelon sushi. Um, but anyway, it was nice to see you. And I will see you again next time. Goodbye.